Oh. Howdy, 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 everybody. Uh -huh. Teresa here. And me. And Bradley. He's feeling a little sore today because it's Kim. So cold out. Um, it is December 27, 2015. Sunday morning is 11.03 a.m. We've been up for a couple hours. Um, uh, if you're new to my channel, hang on because I'm going to explain a little bit more about, about us and what where our life is headed because I realized that because I picked up so many new subscribers, a lot of people don't understand what we're about to undertake and what our life is about. Um, but uh, first, let's do the weather. It is 7 degrees out here in central Wyoming. But real field temperature is 14 below. And the high will be 20 and the low will be 9. It's 7 degrees right now. Hello. Um, and last night we did, um, my husband did, uh, we did go for a ride. I hadn't been out of the house since Monday evening. Um, we were going to go pick up Chinese food. This one place that we really love, but they were closed for the holiday. Um, thank good, thank goodness for them because they work really hard. Um, and so... We just uh, went for a ride and uh, took the Mastiff with us. Um, and then I came home and we ate some dinner and then I worked some more on this show. Show y'all. Um, this is approximately one fourth of it. So as you can see it's quite long. And this is all that Chanel. And makes an intricate nice little light pattern which will be nice you know so that's what i worked on while i watch youtube videos spread watch some tv um and then today we just kind of been uh talking about plans and stuff um i want to go over this, over this little bit um if you're new to our channel my name Teresa. And I've been happily married to Brad for 27 years. And um, uh, he worked 34 years for a grocery business, grocery store. And retired from there. Worked a couple years in a convenience store. Retired from there. Or quit there. And he's been working as a car salesman for Three years, I think. Have you been working at for at car salesman for three years? Yeah, last this September was three years. Okay, yeah, three years. Um, and um, you know, the good and the bad of the car sales business, but he's one of the honest car salesmen. Um, but um, we both have diabetes. Um, we're both diabetics. This is more advanced. And, um, uh, our, our two daughters are raised and, and long have left the home and, and have children and families of their own. Um, we rescue dogs and cats. Um, we're not taking any more right now because, uh, we're getting ready to move. But, um, all of them are rescues. We have the two cats, um, and we have four dogs. We have a dachshund, uh, standard dachshund. We have a, uh, and she's a short hair. We have a beagle. We have a giant schnauzer. And we have a Italian mastiff. Um, and um, that has been a big passion and love of our life. Is And we've done it ever since we've been married. We have uh, saved so many dogs and cats over the years um and uh you know we hope to do some more of that when we get relocated um uh because of the cold extreme weather here in wyoming uh and it really really affects us uh i have osteoarthritis and i have 
uh, rheumatoid arthritis as well. Um, not real bad on the rheumatoid. Um, uh, not near as bad as some people. Um, but my husband uh, has some uh, uh, back problems. He's uh, got a bunch of herniated discs and, and um, uh, really bad neuropathy from his diabetes. Uh, so what we are planning on doing is we're making a major lifestyle change and we are moving from Wyoming clear to Florida here uh, yeah <laughs> yeah in April I'm hoping that we are gone by April 15th uh, here of 2016 we're hoping to buy an inexpensive RV um, because we're taking all our animals with us of course um, and uh, we're going to, we have been really, um, going through and sorting through and purging what we have. Uh, we're taking everything with us, you know, that we decide to keep and then, um, just go ahead and leave that there. Um, and, um, then we are, um, going to be looking for some land. Hopefully maybe I'll have, have, a, a modular or something already on it. We want an all, we want a ranch style home, um, you know, this easy as, as, you know, because these stairs are killer. It's like I can't go up and down them any longer to haul the laundry. Um, do that, um, uh, and live off of my husband's retirement from all of his years as a grocery store because he does have a monthly retirement. Um, you know, and I think being very frugal, we can do that. Mm -hmm. uh, we already have economized and we use just one vehicle um, and um, we're already very frugal and um, you know I uh, supplement a little bit of our income with I do sell um, and links are always below on eBay and Etsy I do the loom knitting um, and a little bit of crocheting um, that usually helps with uh, you know, just to buy some medications mm -hmm. and stuff. Um, you know, I find good deals on Bengay on eBay. <laughs> My husband laughed last night because we got the mail. And there was like four tubes of Bengay. And I'm like, yeah, but I got that for a really good price. You know, uh -huh. and I do. And I buy like um, our test strips uh, on eBay. I got a good deal. It was like 800 test strips uh, for $80, which, you know. Um, but, uh, so yeah, that's what our plan is when we talk about moving and, and stuff. And this is what we, we're doing is, 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 uh, we are, um, you know, selling whatever we don't want. And if it doesn't sell, we're, we're going to donate it. Um, I also make and, and donate hats, uh, 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 frequently and, um, uh, but, yeah, we're going to be moving clear across the country. We're excited. Warmer weather that will really help. He needs some. He needs to not be working more. His back has just had it. His back has just had it. Um, and I think I think that really wears on a person, too, when they're in so much pain all the time. I think that really, I know it really does. Um, and um, we're going to start a healthier better lifestyle, you know, because uh, where we can get fresh fruit and vegetables year-round, that would be so nice. Mm -hmm. And uh, to go to the the uh, fish market and stuff, that we're, exci we're so excited about so many things. Like, to, I've never snorkeled. My husband has been, uh, of course. Yeah, but, you know, it's just going to be such a, a new lifestyle. And we're so excited. All the different types of fishing, because we love to fish. So, and I've only ever fished for trout. And uh, he'd done some fishing in Hawaii. Uh, and stuff. that's where his family is from. But, um, I'm, I'm, are you excited? I'm very excited. You know, um, we've been talking about that. And, you know, uh, you know, paring down what we're taking and what we, you know, what we want to do when we move out there is do a small... Uh, doable homestead for us mm -hmm. and I know there's all types 
a different homestead. I've been researching it. We're not going to be raising any animals for, for meat because we just wouldn't be able to kill them. Mm -hmm. um, so we want to have kind of a petting zoo, I think. Uh, we want to get a couple, uh, either alpaca or llamas. I'm not sure. I think alpacas are friendlier than llamas. I don't know. You'd have to research that, honey. Maybe a couple miniature goats. No geese. No. Because geese do not like my husband. No. Geese are evil. <laughs> and um, uh, I don't think we're even going to bother with having chickens, so because, that you know. Um, but, yeah, a couple miniature goats. We want to have a pet pig for sure. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and uh, we'll probably end up, you know, stopped in a few more dogs and cats. Who knows? Uh, yeah. No enough. <laughs> but, um, you know, and just, um, I, wanted, I want to do some craft fairs. My husband does woodworking and stuff. He also does uh, rock tumbling and jewelry making, uh, wire wrapping and stuff. And I really like his style of wire wrapping. Um, uh, it, I think it's really unique. He doesn't just the classic twirls and stuff. It's how he does it is really really neat but anyway so we're gonna that's what we're gonna be doing this is developing a whole new life and no we have no family or friends there in florida but uh we'll make friends <clears throat> you know and um and you gotta make make the most of life your life changes your 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 physical abilities change as you age and that's okay. You just make the best of it. That's why they make everything on wheels. Mm -hmm. Like your tables. I mean, your tables and, and stuff. And um, there's a lot more programs out in Florida, you know, for the elderly and the handicapped and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, I think our asthma will be better out in Florida. Mm -hmm. There'll be brand new allergies. <laughs> you know, so... Anyway, that's what we're about is, and, you know, I keep it real. I do daily vlogs, and, uh, you know, this is what you get. I try to keep it positive. I try to, um, I try to keep my outlook on life positive because I have a long history of, um, uh, depression years back, and I really lost quite a few years of, uh, not even remembering much of anything um so you learn from it you grow from it but well, yeah. i was gonna say you you've gotten past it and you've moved mm -hmm. on and for me once you kind of forgive what's happened to you in the past and kind of you know and also decide that you no longer would want to go back to those those past things uh -huh. then you can move forward mm -hmm. you know that's mm -hmm. why it's like it's not even important to talk about it anymore because, mm -hmm. you know, I've moved past it. Mm -hmm. You know, what's yeah. happened happened, and uh, mm -hmm. there's no changing, changing the hands of time. And mm -hmm. but there's, you know, I like to say instead of being that, oh God, I'm 51. I'm only 51. Yeah. I'm only 51. Yeah. I still got a lot of life left, and so Very do you. young 51. Yeah. And we're never going to grow up. Uh -huh. You're a very young 51. See, my hair is a mess, too. Ow, 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 ow. What'd you do? Look at that. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, so that's what's going on. Is we're packing up the house, and we're selling stuff, and... We're, we're moving on down the road. Mm -hmm. Toad with all the dogs. With all the cats. You know. And uh, we're going to develop a brand new lifestyle. Mm -hmm. And we're excited. Yeah. And we're taking you guys along. Aren't yeah. you lucky? You get to hear about it. Well, one of the things I want to talk about is I decided that... Um, one thing that I wanted to do was um, keep a start writing down as we pack boxes. Like if we if you had three Christmas boxes, 
you know, label the outside Christmas one, Christmas two, Christmas three, and then in a notebook or a journal, write down exactly what was in Christmas box number one. Mm -hmm. You know, the major components. I thought that was a brilliant idea. And it's basically for, for packing up his tools. He has a lot of woodworking tools and, and stuff out in the garage. Mm -hmm. And also, like, packing up kitchen stuff. Because some of the stuff, once we get supported, we're going to have to put in a storage unit until we find... Because we're selling our house here in Wyoming. Um, so until we find the land or the house with the land on... Uh, you know, the land with the house on it. Um, the stuff we're going to have, we're going to be living in our RV and it's going to have to be in storage. So, you know, that way we know if we're going to storage and we need to get out a certain box that we don't have to, you know, open up 20 boxes yeah. to, that all take kitchen because we don't know what kitchen one it might be in. So, mm -hmm. anyway, that's all we're doing. So, you know, thought I would just kind of, you know, look, clue you guys in. Thank you for all my new subscribers. Um, thank you for all my old ones that have been here all this oh, time. Um, and that's all we got going on. Um, but I think quite a bit of pain today. I think you might have messed it back up at work again. Yeah. Well, you know, you do the, you're walking across the parking lot. And you never know, you never know if there's pavement under that, under that little light, light layer of snow or if there's a sheet of ice, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. And when I fell last week, I did, I did, uh, I hit, I was standing on the running board on that, on that uh, cabin chassis and I went down. And I hit my butt on the running board, and then I hit my butt on the ice. No, oh, Winnie hurt his tailbone. Yeah. Remember, I was telling you guys that. Yeah, he's still recovering from that. It'll take months, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. You know, and that's uh, why you were uh, why you're moving slower too. Mm -hmm. but anyway, just I give you guys a little update on what we're doing. So you know. <laughs> That's what we're doing. Um, my link for eBay is below. I will be listing some more stuff for sale, like pasta maker I've never used and stuff like that after Christmas. You know, well, it is after Christmas, after the new year. Mm -hmm. So, anyway, love you guys, and I cherish you, and I think you're awesome, and I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye.